new Addison graduating class of May 2020. Today's a special day. Actually, today was your graduation day, right? It was a day that you looked forward to for two and a half to three years. It was a day that had so much meaning behind it, right? Many of you, you know, had a vision of walking across the stage and your family watching you uh, receive your diplomas. Um, some of you are first generation college graduates. Some of you came from other nursing schools and this was an opportunity for you to complete the program. All wonderful opportunities for you to be in the spotlight and that's what graduation is meant to be. And you know that graduation is, is always done at the Rosemont Theater, which is beautiful. So this is not your graduation day. It's not meant to take the place of graduation. It's going to be kind of a, a, a celebratory event that combines senior day, a little bit of pinning, um, a little bit of graduation. But our hope is that we'll be able to postpone graduation to another time, maybe September, where we'll merge your class with the September class. So let's just look at it as a celebration. So we are going to celebrate um, your passing on to your professional life today. Um, I'll say a few words. The um, graduate that was selected by you as the pinning speaker, Stephanie Lambert, will also have a message for you. Um, our faculty and staff will have a message for you and some of our alums will have a message for you along the way. So I just want to say a few words before we get into um, our event today. You know, as you think about your graduation day, your, your transition now to professional life under the current conditions. My guess is that all of you have one question, one common question in mind, and that is probably, am I prepared? Am I prepared to go out and be a professional nurse? Many of you had one or two weeks of clinical in 452, so you've been away from the bedside for a while. Now many of you work in healthcare, so you've been at the bedside, but not as a professional nurse. So that's a good question. Um, now, do we believe that you're ready to enter the field of nursing? Absolutely, we believe you're ready. We believe you've got the skills, you've got um, the ability to think like a nurse. You, you just have to, you'll get practice. Being on the job is what really allows you to practice everything that you've learned. You know, I think back to when I graduated, um, I was very fortunate to be hired in the, in the area that I wanted. I wanted to be a pediatric nurse. And um, amazingly enough, six of my classmates and myself were all hired to be in the same very large pediatric department of a large medical center. And you know that first day when you've got your uniform on and you're walking into the unit and you're thinking, wow, I'm on top of the world, I'm a registered nurse, I, I'm starting my career. I would say for me and probably for you that'll last about a minute. Um, you know, I, the, the reality of what it means to be a professional nurse then starts to hit. And back in the day, you know, we didn't have new student orientation new, or new grad orientation. We didn't have any of that. Um, back in the day, you were on the day shift for a few weeks. And week three of my tenure as a professional nurse, I found myself on the night shift. I was on the night shift with, I was the only RN on the night shift. Um, it, it was a very uh, revealing time for me. I was with a wonderful group of CNAs and LPNs who had far more life experience and nursing experience than I probably even have today. I think I added it up one time and the seven people that I initially worked with had something like 200 years of experience. What did I confront that first day? A unit with 20 babies that had IVs. I, I believe me, I was absolutely terrified, but I was humble and that um, that asset helped me because I allowed these wonderful people to teach me and that they did. So I would suggest um, you're coming to today and beyond with lots of knowledge. Many of you have passed NCLEX already. You know how to think like a nurse. You just have to put it into action. I would say the best thing to do is to be humble, 
accept your role as a new nurse, try to fit in with, with where you're going to be. You will fit in, and we need you to fit in. We need you all to be our next generation. We need your ideas, we need your creativity, we need your solutions. Healthcare is very complex, as you know, and we need the new generation of nurses, and that's you. Do we believe you can do it? Absolutely. Do we want you to step forward? Absolutely. Step forward and be the Chamberlain nurse that we know that you're going to be. Thank you. Congrats everyone, my name is Lisa Pachenko and I'm the Director of Campus Operations for the Addison Campus. At this time we'd like to recognize the student organizations and their involvement that promote the culture of community on our campus. Student organizations offer students an opportunity to use leadership and organizational skills they have learned to help promote the nursing profession and give back to the community and their students. In order to have these groups, we rely on the officers of the organizations to take on planning and implementing community service activities, meetings, and even some fun events like Nurses Week and Summer Bash. Without these students, the groups would not be as successful as they are. These graduating candidates who served as student organization officers will be recognized on the individual slides. Thanks again and good luck everyone. Hi, my name is Shannon Garino and I'm the Manager of Student Services at the Addison Campus. We would also like to now recognize a group of students that showed academic excellence. Each October, our students are inducted into the Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing Honor Society. Founded to advance the knowledge, learning, and service of nurses, Sigma Theta Tau International focuses on scholarship and leadership in its social and ethical commitment to excellence. These Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing Honor Society members will be recognized on their individual slides. Congratulations everyone, we wish you well. This next segment of our event today um, is in recognition of the Senior Awards. So these awards have been given um, to three graduating seniors for a number of years. And these awards are voted on by faculty and staff on the campus. They're known as the Nursing Excellence Awards. And they were created to recognize students in the class who exemplify caring, compassion, intelligence, professionalism, and nightingale-like qualities everywhere they go. The entire faculty and staff, as I mentioned, are invited to vote for three students who've demonstrated these qualities throughout their time at Chamberlain. The comments that were made by the people that voted for these three students will now be shown. It's my pleasure to introduce our first award winner, Nursing Excellent Award. It goes to someone that I know very well, Maveen Hashim. Our second award winner today is another student who exemplifies uh, many of the qualities that, that I mentioned. The winner is Tina Matthew.
Our third and final Excellence Award winner today is Ophelia Rosales. faculty and fellow graduates. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Stephanie Lambert. First and foremost, I would like to thank each and every one of my peers that voted for me to stand here before you today. This is truly an honor. At the young age of five is when I witnessed my very first delivery, which was a home birth. And on that day, I knew I was destined to be a labor and delivery nurse. I've had many pit stops along the way, and never in my wildest dreams that I imagined I make it this far. And to top it off, I have been trusted by my fellow peers to deliver a speech on their behalf. On this journey, I have met a lot of amazing people with whom I've shared great memories with. These are memories I will cherish a lifetime. Marisol and Ashley, thank you for being my rock since day one. I would have never made it this far if not for the both of you pushing me to become a better version of myself and for believing in me on days that I didn't believe in myself. I remember sitting in class on the first day and hearing Professor Sacco say, by the end of this journey, we will all be molded into extraordinary nurses. I really didn't understand how powerful that statement was in that moment but little did I know, I'd soon find out. Extraordinary means very unusual or remarkable. It does indeed take a very unusual person to go through what we've been through. This has been a heck of a roller coaster ride up until the very end. Now that we have completed the program, I understand more than ever what it truly means to be extraordinary. Extraordinary is beating stage three ovarian cancer and doing it so gracefully like Marisol. Extraordinary are all of you that worked full-time and overnight jobs, showing up to clinicals and classes with very little hours of sleep. Extraordinary are all of my fellow mothers who gave birth in this program, who had to leave their infants prematurely to get back to the books. I salute all of the parents in this room that sacrificed time away from their families to pursue this degree because we all knew that the reward in the end would be so much greater. Now that is extraordinary. Extraordinary are students like Diana, who drove over 90 miles back and forth to school only two days after a major surgery. And Vanessa, whom I watched suffer for months with chronic back pain, continuing with the smile on her face on days where she wanted to give up. Each and every one of us are super extraordinary for our resilience during all of the ups and downs that came with this program. Does anyone remember our very first remediation in med surge? I do. We all came to school the very next day looking like zombies from being up all night remediating. But even now we find ourselves in a tough moment due to what has transpired with COVID-19. It really takes a remarkable person to endure what we had to. 
at the tail end of our journey. None of us imagined our last two months of nursing school to end on the note that it did. But however, we did it. We did it. Give yourselves a round of applause because you definitely deserve it. To everyone that has lost a loved one during their journey in this program, please know that they are smiling down on us and proud of us and doing a little dance in heaven for each and one of us to help celebrate this milestone. On behalf of the May 2020 graduating class, I would like to thank President Snow, our professor, clinical instructors, the cast, lab specialists, student advisors, the Ryan brothers, and the entire Chamberlain family for guiding us through this extraordinary journey. President Snow, thank you for the daily emails the first few weeks of the school closing. Your words meant so much to us. To the NR452 team, thank you for being there for us and for making this difficult time as smooth as you possibly could. Professor Moranin, I would like to personally thank you for your support and guidance you have given me during this entire program. The way you love and care for your students is extraordinary. Professor Sacco, Nicole Mondragon, want to thank you for teaching us about the meaning of grit and transition to nursing. She wants you to know that word has and will continue to follow her. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank our spouses for believing in us, for being shoulders to cry on, for understanding and allowing us to vent. I would also like to apologize for the times we may have taken our frustrations out on you. I would like to give a special thank you to our parents. Without you, there's no us. Thank you for supporting us believing in us and for loving us our entire lives. Words cannot express how thankful we are to have you as our parents. I would now like to take this moment to honor the most understanding, beautiful humans on earth to our children. Thank you all for hanging in there when mommy and daddy were too busy to play with you or to take you to the park. Please always remember, you guys were our reasons why. We kept and will continue to keep swimming for you all. Mommy and daddy love you guys so much. Now that we are all so very extraordinary, here are a few tips that I would like to give you guys on ways that we can stay that way. So tip number one would be, please stay humbled and never forget how hard it took and what it took for us to get here. Always be nice to the nursing students. Please don't be that nurse. We all know who that nurse is. Please, and we've all had that nurse. Don't be that nurse. And when it comes to patient care and tasks and prioritizing tasks, remember to always eat the frog and don't take any shortcuts when caring for a patient. I would now like to take the time to acknowledge the many lives that have been lost during this pandemic. So we can have a moment of silence, please. Thank you all. Okay, so I would like to leave you all with these words that I received from our fellow classmate, Chris. So a patient asked her, was she afraid of everything that was going on in the world? And her response was extraordinary. This is how she replied. We are the class of 2020. We are the class of COVID-19. We are the class of no toilet paper. 
We are the class when the world stopped and sheltered in. We are strong and we are resilient. We are willing to jump in the fire and fight. And being scared makes us persevere. This is nursing. And I will leave you all with this from me. What a great time to be an extraordinary nurse. Congratulations to us all. Congratulations to you guys. And thank you all for riding this roller coaster and going down this journey with me. It has been extraordinary. Thank you all. Love you guys. My name is Christina Bush and I recently graduated from Chamberlain in January 2020. This is such an exciting time in your lives and although we are in unprecedented times, if you haven't already, you will see that all your hard work is worth it. Once you start to work, and yes, you will get a job, you are reminded of reasons why you went into nursing, and it's a beautiful journey. Each and every one of you have the opportunity to make a difference. As nurses, we are able to help others through some of their most difficult days. We are able to make the world a better place, and that's something to be proud of. So stay strong and keep pushing forward. Hello, Chamberlain Spring Class of 2020. Just want to congratulate you all on achieving your nursing degree. This is one of many accomplishments that you should be proud of as your nursing journey begins. Just a little reminder, you guys are brave enough, smart enough, bold enough, and caring enough, as well as nurse strong ready. You guys got this. Again, congratulations. Hey Chamberlain grads! Hi, my name is Hillary. I graduated in May 2017. I'm an ER nurse at Cook County. First of all, I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating and formally welcome you to the field. Know that you have earned those letters at the end of your name and you should wear them proudly regardless of the circumstances. Know that at the end of the day, what makes you a nurse is the hard work and sacrifice that you've put in these past few years. You put so much hard work into this single moment, and I am so proud of you. You will touch so many lives and make a huge difference sooner than you know it. Rest assured that you can put down those notes and that you will be charting for a very, very long time. You, my friend, are officially a nurse. Welcome to the field, nurses. Congratulations. Yay! Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Sasha, class of 2016. I'm honored to be able to leave you with these words. I believe we all have unique gifts, a sort of light within ourselves, whether that be in the form of just having a really big heart or endless patience or uh, kindness, a sort of grace, gentleness, or simply just the ability to be able to bring out a smile in someone. Chamberlain has equipped you with the knowledge and with the skill sets. Now. Allow your unique gift to drive that all. And I truly believe we can heal this world. Welcome to the team. Be proud to be a nurse. And be proud right now, because you did it.
Graduates, pat yourselves on the back, you did it. I'm Mary Bristol, Student Learning Specialist. And my wish for you is to continue to love what you do by providing the comfort for your clients with extraordinary care. When faced with difficult decisions, ask yourself, what is best for the patient? And I believe you'll be happy with the outcome. Your hard work has given you all the tools that you need. So go out there and be the difference you want to see in the world. Dear graduate class of May 2020, Professor Bouguet is here back from your OB lectures. Even though this year we will not be able to see you in your cap and gowns, we would never miss the chance to tell you how proud we are of you. Nursing sometimes can be difficult. It's a heartache and tears. It's long hours working on your tired feet. It's thankless patience and overbearing administration, but it's so rewarding. Remember, you are the protectors, the lifesavers. You are the heart of the medicine. Congratulations. Congratulations, nurses. What a wonderful time to become a nurse. Did you know 2020 is the year of the nurse? So it's your year. So proud of what you've all done. Think about what you've been through, what you've accomplished, and how successful you will be in the next step of your journey. Please remember that when your shift gets tough, the patients get tough, the hours get tough, just remember why you started. That's all you need to do. And also remember, patients are gonna forget what you did, they're going to forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Please keep that in mind when you're taking care of your patients. Bye and congrats. Good luck. I'm Minnie Johnson, Assistant Professor. I'm really happy to share your excitement on your graduation day. The world needs you now more than before. But don't forget your ABCs. Your approach, your behavior, and your character makes you an extraordinary nurse with Chamberlain Care. Best wishes. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Carol Keith, Associate Professor at Addison. Congratulations to the class of May 2020. We're also very proud of you, even though we can't be there right there in person. I would advise that you provide care with empathy to each and every one of your patients and family members. Welcome to our profession. My name is Mary Lance and I'm a senior student support advisor with Student Services. Wow guys, we are at graduation. I'm sure it feels surreal because I know this day felt like it would never get here, but here we are. I also know that this may not be exactly how you pictured graduation, but I hope it doesn't take away from the fact that you now have your Bachelor's of Science in Nursing degree and you did that. I know I speak for myself and the rest of the Addison campus when I say we are beyond proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. Henry Ford once said, obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. Much like obtaining your BSN, life is always going to throw you its share of obstacles. The most important thing to remember is to focus on your goals, remember why you became a nurse, and you can achieve anything. Congratulations as you start the next chapter of your nursing journey. The best is yet to come. Go out there and be extraordinary. Hi everyone, this is Professor Lily. I just want to congratulate you on your successes with graduating from Chamberlain. Um, I wish we were all there to celebrate you guys graduating and walking across the aisle. Um, I just want to pass on a few um, tidbits is to soak up your orientation moments and to never feel like you're alone, always ask questions and work as a team. Congratulations again, you deserve this and I look forward to hearing from you in the future. I'm Clarina Luat, your faculty from OB and Community Health, wishing you all the best. Always remember, you are a rock star. You're tough as a rock and continue to shine like a star. Congratulations. Hello graduating seniors, I just wanted to congratulate every single one of you. You guys did it. Your hard work has paid off and congratulations. I'm so proud of every single one of you. A lesson that I'd like you to take with is the first year 
of nursing is always difficult, so don't feel discouraged. You'll make mistakes and you'll learn from it. Don't cut corners, be safe, you'll grow, and next thing you know, you'll be teaching other new nurses. So congratulations again, I wish you all the best. This is Paul Mueller, the Associate Dean of General Education at Chamberlain University on the Addison campus. I want to congratulate you for making it to this point in your educational career. Uh, you worked very hard to be here and I want to give my heartfelt congratulations for all that you've done to get to this point. I know you've made a lot of sacrifices along the way and I wish you the best going forward. I do also want to remind you that you are always going to be a student in some regards. You're always going to be a lifelong learner. So always take every opportunity available to you to make the most of your education. Thank you very much. Congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you all the best from Chamberlain, and we look forward to hearing about all the amazing things you'll do in the nursing world. Stay in touch. Hello, graduates. It's Professor Price, Fundamentals and Patho Instructor. I want to wish you a well-deserved congratulations on your determination to get to where you are today. A bit of advice I like to give, never stop learning. Congratulations again. Hi Addison graduates, my name is Terry Kobriger. I'm an administrative coordinator for the Addison campus. I want to wish you all a very heartfelt congratulations today on your graduation. I wish we could all be in person but we will soon be together again for a graduation, hopefully in September. Congratulations, I wish the best to all of you.